Hey guys, my name is Eddie Soul. This is Holy Alpha, aka Mama Ghost. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Pretty Prince, aka Little Giant. What's Gucci, everybody? It's your girl Venus Raps, and I'm on the Weekend Turn Up. Hey everybody, my name is Paris Guy, and y'all are watching the Weekend Turn Up. Shout out to Puma, South Africa, and Sports Scene. Uh, music has always been like a uh, passion for me, like since like I was like six. I just always liked playing with the piano and instruments and just familiarizing myself with like different types of sounds and different types of genres. And watching all these stars on TV, it just grew, grew on me, like, yeah. When I was at a young age, my older brother used to make music, so that's how I got into music. And yeah, I'm rolling with it. My uncle's friend said we should go to studio, and we did it. <laughs> yeah, there's really not much to the story that people probably haven't heard before. But yeah, that's how essentially I got into music. I got stuck, didn't leave. <laughs> uh, my, my, my brother. My brother is the one who introduced me to like hip hop and rap. Yeah. My dad is, was a musician back in his days, Sebo. So like, I feel like the Fumene Kayala way. So like, yeah, that's why, I, that's why I got into music because them time they won't come to love music, guy. So yeah. Uh, my biggest inspiration probably has to be life. That's what drives me to create music. But I mean, I look at other people's careers as well and that in itself drives me to create and to be better and to work at it. So yeah, I'd say life. Uh, my biggest inspiration has to be Michael Jackson. You know, I really admire Michael Jackson and, you know, and everything he's done for music. I'm inspired by a lot of artists. I'd say Nasty C. Nasty C that side and that side. Mm, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, I'm inspired by a lot of artists, man. A lot. I'm not gonna lie. But those are the main. My biggest inspiration is my mom. You know why? Because I know her struggle. That's all. My older brother, NBA young boy, uh, young blue, little papa. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not at school. I'm not at work. And uh, I only do music. Yeah, there's no pressure at home when it comes to my parents. They cool with everything, you know, so yeah. That's a hard question, because yeah, I, I want to give my 100% into music. The same goes for school, but like I have to learn how to juggle with like everything that's happening with my music right now and where it's taking me. I just have to stay focused and give my 100%. Uh, at the beginning of the year this year, my parents are like, what do you want to do? I was like, I I'm not even sure, you know? So I'm just going to take a gap here and see where, where it takes me, but I'm, I'm gonna keep going on with this music thing. Then we're like, you know what? We're gonna support you, son. You know, whatever you want, man. Whatever makes you happy, just do it. And here I am right now, yeah. Oh, I, I get days where, whereby I know, okay, I, I have to focus on school on this day, and maybe on the next when I have time, focus on music, because it's natural. It just comes out, you know? It's quick to make a hit with me. Anything outside of office hours, it's music time. My creative process varies, right? So usually my go-to is hear the beat, write the verse. But I've been getting into a stage where, especially during um, the, the bando camp, I got into a space where I was writing a verse without a beat and then I'd find a beat that kind of fits with that and then I'd go with it, you know? But um, I'm realizing it's, it's, it varies now, but my go-to is always beat first. So I prefer listening to the beat than write lyrics down. Because I feel like sometimes when you write the lyrics first, like you, you even forget the beat, you're like, how does it go again? I can first listen to the beat or go to the studio, write something by studio, but it depends, man, I can do both, so yeah. Sometimes I'd actually write on the beat before hopping into the studio, but I get my days where I just lay down, lays down ideas, and from there, I just keep on going without writing nothing. So basically freestyling piece by piece. You have to like hear the beat in order to start anything. The beat just gives you the, the, the full version of the track already. You don't even need to say, say anything. You can just mumble everything and you have a track. I think what really excites me about the music industry in South Africa today should be the diversity. Okay, first of all, it was Ikom, it's Kobo. Now it's a piano. Hip hop is always there, but it's the change, the unpredictable. Like it's it's unpredictable in the South African music. So that's what excites me. The hip hop scene, like every everyone, like the 
you can just see the, like all the contestants, the finalists, you can just see that South Africa is full of talent, you know. You look at the OGs and what they did for South African culture, we trying to do the same thing. We trying to take South Africa to new heights, you know, and to new levels, global. What, what's exciting me about it is that um, people, are, people are being versatile. People are being versatile and that's what I like about like South African music right now. Ooh. Uh, we, I feel like we actually, we getting the support we need. Right now, it's, it's starting to build up now. It's all starting to make sense too, because back then, uh, you know, <laughs> we weren't really getting that much of support. But now, I feel like, yeah, so that excites me as an artist, because now I know, okay, I'm going to this place whereby I know people will be happy to see me, and that just makes me feel good. And yeah, it's hella exciting too. <laughs> I would change the way the way people view this whole music, the people actually listeners' perspectives. You know that uh, you can still do a different genre and still not lose yourself. I, I wish the industry was more accessible to people who want to be in it. You know, South African music don't look at the talent anymore. They look at the connects. It's all about the connects. So I would really love into buying a chinchalondo. Change that thing, guys. In these days, you get artists that they don't really have that drive, but because of the connections, they are where they're at. You understand? So I feel like, yeah, if we could just take this thing of connections out, everything would be better and yeah. Uh, the whole, you know, war between Ama Piano and, and hip hop is really, it's petty, you know, it's really petty. It's, and it's bad for the culture because we're not going to move forward by comparing. We should just admire both genres and just accept them as South African genres. It's just how it is. I think what other up-and-coming artists can learn from my music journey is to trust your dope. Whoever's out there must understand that you're dope enough to make it into places that you never thought you would, you would make it into, and keep pushing. Keep on going, like don't stop. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, just keep going. Don't let people's opinions affect your, your whole process, you know? Just believe in yourself, believe in what you're doing, keep going, persistence too. Push, 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 that's all I can say. Push, 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 bro. And everything you took, because with me, how people used to treat me was like, okay, I'm too young to do certain things, but I'm just trying to show the youth that you're never too young, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't matter, bro. Like, I'm an example. For all the youngers out there, push, keep pushing. Don't, don't, don't worry about what anyone has to say. Just keep on pushing and stay focused. That anything is possible, for real, like, don't be afraid to take any chances. Just go for it, just go for it. Like whatever you want to do at that moment and what feels right in that moment, just go for it. Don't doubt yourself ever, ever. That's the biggest mistake. Ah, uh, Fitz, uh, just be real, man. Just be real. Like in the eyes of wants to fit in, ne? But it's uh, just be yourself, just be real. Always come up with something different from Abanya Band, from his new artist, you know? So yeah, man, come on your dreams and what you aspire to be, this is the right platform for anyone, any artist, whether you do rock, hip hop, I'm a piano, anything, come to Puma Put Me On. This is the best platform. I feel like this is things we need as artists. You know, we all need distribution deals. We all need to get our music out there. So I feel like it will really help. I'd say the importance overall in a nutshell is to equip artists with opportunities, number one, number two, knowledge, number three, um, access. It's all about facilitating growth, you know? It's about facilitating growth and the prizes too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but like, yeah, man, it's, this journey actually is a good one, you know, because I connected with people throughout this whole journey to put me on journey and it, it, yeah, it really is a great opportunity, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yes, sir, it is sold in the building. Aye, 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 I'm not even gonna box you to say you're a rapper, you're just a musician. For sure, you know what I mean? for sure. Because I think for with sure. just your performance and the music that you were doing, you took us to many places. Yo, 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 she yo. called me Paris because I know how to French. Yo, you're just holding the flag of Cosa Rap and... The vibes. We got to do a song ASAP. Yeah, that's what oh, I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Venus, you are a problem to yeah, this game. Yeah, for real. You are a problem <laughs> to this game. I, I, I enjoy this more than I can even like put into words, you know? Pretty. That was absolutely nuttos, bro. Shout out to you. But we need to hear some comments from the judges. Tibos. Ah, uh, well, it's, it's clear. The boy is well on his way. All I'm going to say to you is fix your passport. We're going places. That's it. That's it. 
Hi everybody, my name is Paris Scott and y'all have been watching The Weekend Turn Up. Shout out to Puma, shout out to Sports Scene for everything. I really appreciate the opportunity. Let's go. Uh, shout out to Sports Scene, shout out to Puma. I uh, highly appreciate the opportunity. You can find me on all social platforms at, at Edisol World, all social platforms. Thank you so much. Big shout out to Puma and Sports Scene. And you've been watching The Weekend Turn Up for sure. This is The Weekend Turn Up. Shout out to Puma, shout out to Sports Scene. What's poppin' everybody? It's your girl Venus Reps. You've been watching the weekend turn up. Shout out to Sports Scene and Puma for having us. Mm -hmm.